Okay, let's do it, Matt. Give it all your best. Give it your best. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, Come this on. is not what you want to see. I took it as far as I can go. My left leg has stopped. Got really bad cramp. This is you on Marathon Day. Not bad, that was a good day's work. Straight home now and straight out the door. Not making the mistake what I made last night. No, 6.36 kilometers, five minute 30 average pace. Oh, belly feels full. Getting home and getting something to eat straight away. I was hungry yesterday though, but yeah, I ended up getting out and running, getting my run done. Just gone 10 o'clock, didn't finish it till 20 to 11. And I felt like crap while I was running as well. Felt abysmal, but good thing about the summer nights. It'll last a lot longer. Here we go. The last session, well, if you can call it a session, before the marathon on Sunday. 15 minutes at marathon pace today. Bit of a recovery. Five by 60 seconds. Bit of a recovery in between them. That's it. Two kilometer warm up, which I'm on now. And a two kilometer cool down. There we go. Two kilometer warm up done. This workout, if you can call it that, is going to be roughly about six kilometres long. It's based on previous ones. I'm not pushing it on the marathon pace. It's not important to hit any specific pace today. I'll probably just stick to the low end of it, which for me is around 4.16. And that is it. I'll put a little bit of speed into the 60 seconds, but... I'm rubbish at them sprints anyway, so I don't see the point in burning burning myself out trying to hit numbers on my watch when it's just more about the activity and activating them different muscle fibres, that's all, and getting your legs a little bit woke up. Right, I'm going to get do this workout, start it now. The pace ranges for the marathon efforts, 409 to 417. Four fourteen for the first kilometre. Four thirteen for the second kilometre. I'm on the third now. Surprised by that one, but I feel good. That's 4.14 for the third. <laughs> That's the 15 minutes done. 3.55 kilometers. I'm not sure what that is in miles, I put it up, but two and a bit. A little two minute recovery now, or whatever it is, and then Get into these one minute sets. <sighs> Done. <sighs> pretty tough. Them 60 seconds are pretty tough. The marathon paced efforts was cool. 6.08 kilometers. <sighs> Average pace, 4.17 per kilometer. Which, he said, that's what I said. I was gonna run my marathon pace splits at, and instead, the whole workout was finished at that. And I hate doing this. That wasn't intentional. Like, I didn't say it and then just do something different. It's like, 
everything felt cool and in the groove and I wasn't looking at average pace till the end but on the day of the marathon on Sunday the first I don't know five to eight kilometers will be ran at 417 per kilometer more or less that is my target not to set off too fast not to raise my heart rate too much just try and keep it chilled like the difference between that five to six seconds per kilometer is a lot i have got to get a cool down done which is two kilometers but the chemist shuts in 15 minutes and i need to get there because i need to pick up a prescription for lady things for holiday so I need to get that done before it shuts at six. Right, so I made the chemist and I had a cheeky little look at the Garmin stats on that run. The marathon pace kilometers, 15 minutes was 4.14 per kilometer and the average heart rate was 148 beats per minute. That is an easy 35 minutes done. Didn't even change my t-shirt, just straight out. The only thing I changed was my shorts. Um, good run, quicker end of easy, like four minute 38 second average pace per kilometer. The kilometer splits was like 4.35 to 4.40 every kilometer. And my heart rate was low, average heart rate 137 beats per minute, which I was surprised with, but it matched the effort because I wasn't pushing it at all. Um, that's the last run now. I've got a rest day on Friday, which is tomorrow, and then I've got a shakeout run Saturday before the marathon on Sunday. So everything's just about freshening up now. Gonna go back home, have a shower, freshen up. Um, busy day in work. Work kicked my ass today. Felt like just a piece of meat getting cooked in a pan all day. It's been hot. I'm not holding, putting too much weight on the weather on Sunday. Um, I know it's forecast to be, you know, within a certain amount of temperature. It might be boiling, it might not be boiling. It'll say it's raining one night, you'll wake up and it's sunny. So the weather on the day is the weather on the day. I'm not putting too much, I never obsess over that stuff because it can just change. Don't worry about anything what you can't change. So that'll be what it'll be. Good week's training that. My legs feel good. dinner time now I've got a rest day from running today I'm just gonna about to tuck into my buddies Kay has looked after me again I tell you I love her I've got tuna mayo fins some nice little notes on there and I've got some good goodies in my box it's the little things that add up I love her so much I've only got a little shakeout run to do tomorrow before the marathon now which I'm either going to do in London, I might do it in London, or I'll do it before I go. I'm not sure what time I'm setting off tomorrow, but me and Pat will be heading down there. Check-in is at 3 o'clock, and then the marathon is not long away now. What's the weather like in Kempton Park on Sunday? It's only partly cloudy, with a high of 21 and a low of 9. In 21 degrees? Yeah, right up. I don't know, 13 degrees at 9 o'clock, and then it says... It'll be 18 by 12, I mean, nine, 19 by one. I want to be, be finished my run by half 12. Yeah. See you next week, mate. We're running out of battery now. I hope I don't run out of battery on Sunday.
We're going to go and get some energy gels from Holland and Barrett because MrLastMinute.com I've got none of the normal SIS gels left. I've just got some of the Beta Fuel Nootropics gels which someone pointed out they're filled with 200 milligrams of caffeine so I can't take like four or five of them in one go. Here we go. Holland and Barrett. Morning, How's it going, Pat? You alright? Always good. Got a little kick down for the day. Yeah. Are you ready for the road trip? Well, I reckon we take it easy. I'm ready, definitely. I was ready last week. But take some time with the family before you go, what you want. There's no rush to get in there because it's bank holiday traffic anyway. I know, we're going to um, cop for some bank holiday traffic, aren't we? So I've just filled the so car up. Yeah. So, set off about two-ish, half two if you want. Yeah, that's fine. Right. When we get there, we'll go and do a recce of the place, the race course, while we're there. Yeah. Um, so we know what we're doing for the next morning. That'll be a definite tonight. Um, and then just chill out, go through some plans, or go through whatever you want doing on the day. All right, no worries then. I'll see you at two o'clock, and I've got some drinks in the car. We'll get a scram, we'll be, we'll, be, we'll be sorted and we'll get down there and let's get it done. So yeah, no problem. Uh, give us a call when you get back and we're ready. So you're going to go for around 2.30, something like that? Yeah, two, around 2.30, two, two, two three hour drive yeah. in it. We'll get there, give us plenty of time to chill out and get checked in. Yeah. Alright, see you in a bit, Pat. Bye, see you, man. See you later, mate. Let's go and run a marathon, Kate. 